Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. I wanted to just uh, do a quick study um, on tongues and uh, faith and miracles. Um, there's some people that would say that miracles and healing and tongues aren't for today. And uh, that's just completely not true. If you believe that Jesus died and rose again by faith, then why would someone not have faith that healings and miracles are for today? They're for the church for today. I myself have been healed many times and especially my back was healed. And there was a time in my life when I was younger after I had my first daughter and my back was so bad. I couldn't even stand and do dishes for five minutes. I, I, I could barely even get out of bed in the morning. My back hurt so bad. And um, at the time I, had, I was going to a Pentecostal church and in that Pentecostal church, by my faith, at a revival, I was healed. And I know some people might say, well, you know, that's Pentecostal and this and that. But it wasn't the church. It wasn't the revival that healed me. It was my faith in Jesus Christ and, and his ability to heal. He's the great physician. And, um, I, it's, it, by, I think the second morning I rolled out of bed and was moving around and I began to realize I've been healed. I can just hop right out of bed now. And it was amazing, you guys. Um, it was just amazing. And I was able to pick up my daughter and carry her around and, and, you know, she was still just a baby and. Um, this chiropractor had told me a couple years before that I'd be in a wheelchair by the time I was 40 because I had my, I had my, I had, well, I still have mild scoliosis, but I, I don't feel it like I used to. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was amazing. And I give God all the glory and praise. Um, <clears throat> healings and miracles are for the church today. And... I just, I don't understand why anyone would say that, um, that they're not, that, that they're not for the church today. That's, that's just insane. Okay. So I wanted to read, um, and some people are saying, well, that's just for, uh, Israel or I don't know, but it's nuts, but let's re read, uh, about the Roman centurion, that's Luke 7, 2 through 10. And a certain centurion servant who was dear unto him was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this, for he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. Then Jesus went with him them, and when he was not now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. <clears throat> for I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers and I say unto one go and he goes and to another come and he comes and to my servant do this and he does it when Jesus heard these things he marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him I say unto you I have not found so great faith no not in Israel and they that were sent returning to the house found the servant whole that had been sick. So this Roman 
soldier uh, has such great faith. He was like, no, you don't even need to come to my house. <clears throat> and all you have to do is just say the word, Lord. And I know that, that you could heal them, heal my servant. And the Lord marveled at his faith. And when the, and they that were sent returned back to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. So this is a, a Gentile, well, he's Roman. And it's by faith. We're healed by faith. Okay? And there's some people, I mean, you could go all through Jesus' ministry and see people being healed by faith. Your faith has made you whole. Your faith has, has, has healed you. And there's some people that are talking about tongues not being for today. So let's go over and read that. Let's see here. Let's read in Acts 10, 44. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnified God. Okay, so the Holy Spirit was poured out. The gift of the Holy Ghost on the Gentiles. And they started to speak with tongues and magnify God. Okay, and they were already saved. They have been given the gift of the Holy Ghost. And they begin to speak with tongues. And they begin to magnify God. And then they got baptized. Water baptism does not save you. Water baptism does not save you. Okay? There's a transition um, in Acts where they went. They sl it slowly kind of trickled down. And then there, you really didn't hear about baptism anymore. It's by faith alone in Christ alone that saves you and seals you. You hear the gospel... And then you get the, the Holy Spirit that seals you until the day of redemption. Okay, I don't know if someone's burning something out here. I don't know, but it's like... <laughs> lots of people are burning uh, their trash around here. Okay, let's see. That's not what I wanted. And okay, now let's look at this. There's lots of people that are saying that the gifts aren't for today. The gifts are not for the church. And it's just crazy, you guys. Some of the things going around. The people that, that say that they are saved by faith alone and Christ alone. And they believe in one saved, always saved. But they don't believe that tongues are for today. They don't believe that healings and miracles are for today. Um... It's just like they cut everything of the workings of the Holy Spirit out. And they speak against it. And it's wrong. It's wrong. Okay, 1 Corinthians 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed. And that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There's different gifts by the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, 
to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues that's talking in tongues to another the interpretation of tongues but all these worketh that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will okay god gives to everybody these different um workings of the spirit as he wants to for as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is christ for by one spirit we were all baptized into one body whether we be jews or gentiles through one spirit the holy spirit do you understand there's no difference we're, we're, there's no there's no difference if you're in christ jesus there's no jew and gentile we are all one by by the same spirit okay whether we be bond or free or have been all made to drink we have all been made to drink into one spirit that's it we're all under the new covenant okay for the body is not one member but many that the foot shall say because i am not the hand i am not of the body is it therefore not of the body and if the ear shall say because i am not the eye i am not of the body is it therefore not of the body if the whole body were an eye where were the hearing if the whole were hearing where were the smelling okay we have a lot of, of christians faith-filled believers going around they're like little robots they're not operating in their own gifts they're listening to people that tell them there is no gifts we don't have these things today we don't have prophecy for today we don't have healings for today we don't have talking in tongues for today and so the spirit is being quenched the spirit is being quenched and people are not receiving these things by faith but that's what it's saying if the whole body were an eye where were the hearing if the whole were hearing where where were the smelling he's trying to say there ha we we all we all work together there has to be separate uh to make one body in christ you see what i mean but now that god set the members every one of them in the body as it hath has pleased him and if they were all one member where were the body but now are they many members yet but one body and the eye cannot say unto the hand i have no need of you nor again the head to the feet i have no need of you nay much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary okay so um you know that pinky toe that's necessary your big toe that's necessary it might not be the eyes or the ears or the nose or the hand or the arm but that big toe is necessary and i'll tell you um there's i've met a couple people that lost their big toe and they can't walk they have to have special shoes made for them you see what i mean a big toe might not be a big deal <laughs> but it is so if you think you're like a feeble part of the body you're not you're not we all work together in one spirit in the holy spirit we're all members of the same body and if you think you're the little pinky or the just a big toe you know uh it's not like that you're necessary we are necessary for the operation of the body and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable upon these we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness amen for our comely parts have no need but god hath tempered the body together having given more abundant honor to that part part which lacked god is amazing that there should be no schism in the body but that the members should have the same care one for another and whether one member suffer all the members suffer with it or one member be honored all the members rejoice with it now you are the body of christ and members in particular 
and then it goes on and God has set some in the church first apostles secondary prophets thirdly teachers after that miracles then gifts of healing helps governments diversity of tongues are all apostles are all prophets are all teachers are all miracle workers have all the gifts of healing do all speak with tongues do all interpret okay we're all we're all not going to do the same thing we're all separate but we all operate as one but covet earnestly the best gifts and yet shew i unto you a more excellent way so this is for today it is for today the holy spirit inside of you leads and guides you and and you have gifts if some people are are good at just different things the lord has give given you things through the holy spirit that he deems and sees fit and they are for today miracles are for today speaking in tongues is for today um I just don't understand why anyone would say something like that. If someone says to you, uh, I had someone come on my channel one time mocking me saying, I speak in tongues in my bowl of Cheerios, Cheerios every morning, you know. I mean, come on. Just, I would run away from that. That's not good. And, um, I don't know, you guys. But it just kind of breaks my heart when I hear people saying stuff like that. It's not right. It's not right. You have the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of you. And, um, you know, he, he gives us gifts. And we operate in those gifts. All right. God bless you guys.